As you probably can tell, we don't have a shortage of projects here in the HH Wheels studios. But today we're talking about a car that's held near and dear to James's heart, his 1968 Dodge Charger. James bought this car back in 2013 and it's taken about seven years to get to this point. Now he's finally ready to get back to work on it. So follow along on this journey to watch us restore this 1968 Dodge Charger and get her back on the road. So this is a big moment for the Charger. I'm finally getting the headliner done in the Charger correctly. I tried two times to put a headliner in this car and I highly recommend that if you guys are restoring a 68 to 70 B body, that you get somebody that's done a headliner or that a professional uh, or a professional person that does headliners to put your headliner in because I ruined two of them really quick. I uh, thought I could figure it out. It's not that easy of a job. Uh, what we're doing here today is I'm going to take the charger and put it on a trailer. We're going to get this thing over to Savannah to Coastal Headliners. The guy said he's done over a hundred of them. He said he'd make it look perfect. So I'm ready to get my crappy job out and get his good job in. On my way to Savannah and uh, I've got this thing on an open trailer. So uh, everybody, everybody is looking at this car. I mean, it's bright red. Um, 1968 Chargers, just a killer looking car. Charger made it over here on an open trailer with no scratches on it, I don't think anyway. I had to made it over here to Coastal Headliners. Uh, I'm gonna go in and talk to Richard right now and we're gonna see if we can get the Charger dropped off tonight. Hopefully he has room for it and uh, he'll start working on it tomorrow. Yeah, I just dropped off my baby, my 68 Charger. I feel funny without my Charger in my possession. It's been in my possession for seven years and now I'm kind of, hmm. I left it at somebody else's place to do for to have work done on it. Wow. All right. So, how excited are you to finally have this headliner like done and done properly? <laughs> Super excited! Super excited! <laughs> That's how you feel about it? Yeah, it's massive. It's uh, there. The list of things that we're going to be able to do now to get this car on the road is—it's been holding up the whole build, yeah. the headliner, because I've been allowing it to hold up because I'm 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 bullheaded, you yeah. know, and I'm. I'm like, I'm going to figure this shit out myself, and it doesn't work. The upset is now you'll be able to put the dash in, you put the windshield in, you can, everything's just going to go together a lot faster, and I don't know, I think we'll see that, that car done the next year or two for sure. I'd like to drive it, Not it won't be completed and done with lights and everything in it, but I'd like to drive it before Christmas. That's That would be really cool. I'd like to go down the road, drive it, you know... It's not going to have an alignment. It's not going to have the lights on. The front end's not going to be done because i got to completely restore the front end. Uh, but a lot of the trim pieces I can work on. I might be sitting on a, a milk crate because I'm not going to have the seats done. But I'd like to, to be able to put it in gear, drive it down the road and back and say, okay, now all we got to do is a bunch of little stuff. All right, we're here at Coastal Headliners today. Uh, Richard from Coastal Headliners called me uh, earlier in the week and said he was all done with the headliner and the charger. And I am super excited. I, I can't even tell you in words how excited I am to have the headliner done in this car because 
we are going to be able to complete the build on this car. We're going to be able to go through, get the windows in it, do all the little things that have been held up by me trying to do the headliner myself. So let's go check it out. I haven't seen it yet, but I'm real excited to go over here and check it out. All right, let's go. Awesome, man. Do you have any idea how long I've been waiting to see this? <laughs> did you use the little clips at all, or they did they have no, to stay on? Or? Um, no, it, it stays on. I left the clips in the box for you so you can put them where they will best work for oh, holding. This glue is awesome. Yeah, it is. It's good. How did you get this so tight like this, man? Heat and steam. After the amount of times you mess with it. Oh my gosh, look at this. You know, I think I ruined my shoulders literally trying, <laughs> trying to put trying this to put thing in. in. Yeah. Yeah. Third time's a charm. Oh, I'm never I'm never attempting another one. You're getting all my work, man. I just want to sit and look at it. You know, because it's it's so freaking perfect. It looks good, seriously. I mean Why did I wait a year and a half and spend endless hours trying to put this in, it seemed like. This just goes to show you that, yeah, you can attempt to learn everything on trying to restore a car, but sometimes you really, really have to pay the price and just have an expert do it for you. I guarantee you we're the only ones in Georgia and South Carolina right now trailering a 68 Charger. So? Yes! <laughs> okay, I was waiting for some sort of reaction. It's so good. It's yeah. so good. It really it is. It looks so good. And to think, when I first bought the Charger, all I, all I was going to do was was put an engine in it and drive it all ratty and nasty. Which would have been cool too. But then when I started getting into the floor pans and, and doing the work correctly and replacing everything. Properly? Like it's, yeah, properly doing everything. And I said, I gotta put a paint job on this. And now that I've got a paint job on it, oh, I need to put the headliner in correctly. And I need to do, you know, a proper engine and, and really make it it's gonna be my everyday driver killer car, you know. I can't wait to see you drive it. Yeah, yeah I'm, so, I'm excited. That's it's gonna it's it's a year down the road, but I'm gonna put some miles on this car. Oh, hey! Thanks for hanging out. If you enjoyed our video, make sure you leave a like and make sure you comment and make sure you subscribe. If you want to see some more videos of our 1968 Dodge Charger getting restored.